Hello everybody. My name is Daniel Kim and today I would like to talk about 2300 evening and morning. If you are a member of Seventh Day Adventist, you must listen to this presentation very carefully. 2300 evening and morning prophecy it is directly linked to seven last plagues. In Daniel 8.14, it talks about 2300 evening and morning prophecy. And when Gabriel came to Daniel and he tried to explain to him about this prophecy, and in Daniel 8.19, Gabriel, he said, 2300 prophecy is linked to the end of indignation. This end of indignation appears one more time in the book of Revelation chapter 15. Revelation chapter 15 1 talks about the last seven plagues and it says indignation of God will be finished by seven last plagues. So from here the expression end of indignation appears two times, one in the book of Daniel and the other one is in the book of Revelation. And from here, we can understand 2300 evening and morning prophecy will be ending by the seven last plagues. So when you study about the Bible prophecy, you must remember 2300 evening and morning prophecy. It is directly linked to the end of times. And we understand there are two main Bible prophecies. One is a 70 weeks prophecy and the other one is 2300 evening and morning prophecy. 70 week prophecy it is from Daniel 9 and 2300 prophecy it is from Daniel 8 14 and this is Daniel 9 24 and we must understand these two prophecy has a dual fulfillment, which means it has been fulfilled in the past and it will be fulfilling one more time in the last days. And the first one is based on sun. So this is called the sun-based prophecy. The second fulfillment is moon-based prophecy. If you go to read Exodus chapter 15 verse 23, the children of Israel, they arrived at the fountain of Mara. And this Mara means bitter. When they tasted that water, the water taste was so bitter, so they couldn't drink. And then God led them to the next stop. It was Elim. And in Elim, there were 12 fountains and also 70 palm trees. 
So this is illustrating what we will experience as a God's people. So Mara means experience of bitterness. And Elim, it is something we are drinking from the word of God, plenty. And we understand when Jesus came, Jesus died on the cross, and the twelve disciples, they got totally disappointed because they were expecting the kingdom of God would appear immediately. But when they were so much excited when Jesus rided on a donkey, when he paraded into the Jerusalem, Jesus, he cried and eventually he crucified on the cross. So this was the experience of the bitterness for the disciples. And when we come to 1844, there was Advent movement and over 50,000 people in America, they were expecting the second coming of Jesus in 1844. But when the appointed time comes, Jesus didn't show up. So they were disappointed. So we called this great disappointment in 1844. So these two prophecies, it is prophecy of bitterness. And then there is moon-based prophecy. 69 leap years. And this is based on the moon phases. And 69 leap years during this time were and street shall be built. This is based on Daniel 9.25. And this is from 1844 until 2030, April 3rd. And during this time, we must understand there are 2300 months. And this is ending with seven last plagues. And this is based on Daniel 8.19 and Revelation 15.1. And this is from 1844 until 2030. Brothers and sisters, if you go to Revelation chapter 12 verse 5, it talks about a woman uh, who wear the sun and moon under her foot. And this sun and moon representing sun-based prophecy she understood and also moon-based prophecy she understood. So this is representing the church of true God in these last days. So if you want to be true member of 144,000, you must study and understand this 2300 evening and morning prophecy and also 69 leap years prophecy. In Daniel chapter 12, verse 10 through 12, if you are a wicked person, you cannot understand this prophecy. But if you have wisdom from God, you will understand these prophecy and it means you are wise virgins. 
So if you want to feed your church members and also your family members and also your local society with the timely message of the Bible prophecy, you must study and understand Daniel chapter 12 and Daniel 8 and 9. And if you study this thoroughly, you will eventually understand Jesus is coming back 2030, April 18. Also, you will understand there will be no raining for 1260 days. No rain. And this will be from April 1st, 2023 until September 11, 2026. Brothers and sisters, do you truly want to work for the Lord with the spirit of Elijah? You must study and understand Matthew chapter 12 verse 40. This is the golden key to understand the Bible prophecy. So as I am about to finish my presentation, I am asking you, you must remember Daniel 8.19 is linked directly to Revelation 15.1. And you must understand there are dual fulfillment in the Bible prophecy, the 70 week prophecy and also 2300 evening and morning prophecy. And if you understand the sun-based prophecy and also moon-based prophecy, you will eventually understand Jesus is coming back 2030. And also there will be no raining for 1260 days beginning on April 1st, 2023 until September 11, 2026. We are truly nearing to the end of the times and now is the time we can study and understand the seven seals in the book of Daniel. I've been telling this truth since 2014, but not many people actually want to study and understand this secret of Bible prophecy. I do not know why, but if you do not study and understand, there is a higher chance you will be foolish virgins. So if you want to be part of five wise virgins, you must begin to study about the Bible prophecy. So once you study and understand about these Bible prophecies, you will realize you are chosen by God as wise virgins. Understanding the Bible prophecy, it is by the grace of God. You must receive the Holy Spirit and you must study hard and you will understand when God bless you. Thank you.